Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about OAuth tokens, right? Which is currently in preview in Microsoft Entry ID, right? So what that OAuth token is going to do is and how it's going to help us as an IT pro and how IT pro can go ahead and add any of such OAuth tokens, right? To do that, I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and do that one, right? And that's going to be pretty straightforward as well, right? So anyone as an IT pro would be able to go ahead and do that, right? So without wasting much time, I'll simply jump onto the screen and show you how we can do that. But before that, there is also a requirement of certain details, right? So those details needs to be formatted in a CSV file with the appropriate format. And then only it is going to be allowed and add and uploaded into the portal, right? So let's go ahead and do that one. All right, uh, I have shared my screen and you can see that I'm on Entra portal, right? To start with, I'm already on the authentication, but let's go back and on the home screen or home page, I'll take you to the appropriate option. So under the Entra ID, you would come up here and click on Microsoft or multi-factor authentication. Right. And once you click here, you have to go to OAuth tokens, which is in preview currently. Right. And you would see something like this. Currently it's blank and you can see this red mark over here because I have added one of such token, which is not valid. And that is why it is showing up error. Right. And that is why it says that you have up to 30 days to fix this error. And you can click on this one to see and delete that one right so there are two options to delete this one or either i can download it or delete this status right so what i will do i had added this previously so what i will do i will simply select it and if i have to download that it is going to show that error right so let's say download it and i'll simply open this file to show you how it looks like as an error right so you can see that the secret key does not represent a base 32 encoded value so this is the error it identified and this is the other details that it needs to be able to fit now you can change this time interval from 30 seconds to 60 seconds right and then you should have these details at least from your organization right so based on that you would be able to go ahead and do that one and this is the error in this scenario because the secret key which i had added that is not a correct one and that is why it failed or that is why it denied that and you can see the csv file which i had created like this one here you can see the upn and the serial numbers secret keys that time travel or time interval manufacturer and model so these are the different details that we need to provide. And you can see starting from 30 seconds, 60 and 45. And also you can see the secret keys, right? So these secret keys should be valid, right? Otherwise it is not going to work at all. And even if it is successful added, then also it's going to be uh, throwing that error out, right? So this is how the CSV file format is needed to be able to upload that one, right? So let's minimize this one and I'll show you how we can go ahead and do the actual one. So let's delete the existing one and it's clear now. So let's refresh this page once and now it is clean, right? So there is no records, there is nothing for us, right? So now simply click on upload button over here. And so from here you can see this is the file that I have created, which is dummy or token data and click on open button. All right. So once I do that, you can see that it is uploaded or uploading file. So file is being uploaded. You will see this progress bar over here immediately. And upon few seconds, it is going to change the status, either it is successful or there are any errors. So let's refresh this page. Perfect. You can see that it is not perfect or it is not the correct one because the secret key is not correct, right? And that is why it did not upload or allowed 
or add it successfully at all now the question might be why do we wanted to add these tokens right so i talked about i showed you how we can add and create and simply upload it you will do that right easily because that's something which we can do practically on the screen but what are the scenarios where we really need to add these tokens right so these oauth tokens which includes hardware tokens software tokens and others as well so that is available and shown up in this document under the software tokens or tokens hardware token is in preview currently right and then then the other details as well right so this way you can go ahead and understand it but the real scenario or real real use cases of these tokens are to authenticate users to access any of those any of those applications right now there would be different situations right so different situations as if we have any of those applications be it internal business application or enterprise based business application we wanted to put that application behind the oauth tokens to authenticate users be it software token or hardware token right and that is why we would configure that with respect to systems respect to application and to authenticate and to provide them the right set of authentication method so this is going to be the authentication method we would configure with this entry id capability and this is way that it is going to be configured basically right so this way it is going to be configured and once it is configured user would be able to do that right now there would be another question who actually is going to implement our token be it hardware or software right so the tokens and all of that configuration is majorly done by the either security team or uh, if they have the on premises or kind of hybrid environment they would also come up with the network team because they have some of the traffic and networking capabilities to be built and should be allowed and make sure that is working as expected as well right with setting up a right set of configurations there and then it comes to the entire id or identity team to set this up for them to uh, utilize the oauth token capability right now the another question would be who is growing who is going to provide this detail so this detail is going to be provided by either security team right and they would be collecting these details from either it team right who has the device details right and then upn details as well but they will have secret key this is more important here right if we have other details and we don't have the secret key then this is not going to be successfully added and implemented at all right so that that is also very important we need to get the secret keys to be able to add and make that configurations enabled right without it it is not going to work at all right so this way this is going to be added and provided right now every organization is different they do have different processes different teams different group of people who are working on different things be it networking security and id at it team or be it any other team who actually takes care of all of these activities in entra side as well as networking and security side right so this is something that respective team has to work in collaboration with each other and make this happen right now the people who are responsible for business applications and business deliverables in terms of providing access to the respective people be able to get that work done for internal and business and for customers as well right so they have to uh, reach out to the respective teams and get the work done right so that's something in collaboration with everyone that work needs to be done right so that is how it is going to be right so behind each and every activity that is going to be done here or from any other configuration side right there are different people responsible for different things right and they have to reach out to the right people then get the work done and that is something uh, you might have seen and experienced as well right so the purpose of this video is to show you how we can go ahead and do that and understand it right and many people might not have seen this how this actually really works and how we can go ahead and do this and i have not shown how we should export or get 
the secret key and from which location or from which application or which system, right? So secrets or secret keys would be exported and uh, given or from the uh, taken from the respective platform, right? Now, for example, we have software tokens, right? Uh, it could be third party platform and they do also provide secret keys that we can simply ingest in and try to be able to authenticate with two factor authentication, right? And that way we should be able to simply get that details from that third party solution. And majorly the third party solutions are going to provide us the secret or secret keys that we would simply enforce or deploy through this method, right? And then those would be uploaded and can be uh, simply ingest here, right? So once we do that, that should be ready. And once it is successful, you will see all those details over he here. So currently it shows no results. That means there is no any successful record at all. And the purpose of this to show you how it actually works in all the scenarios, whether if it, it is processing, whether it is uploading, whether it is failing, what are the reasons, what could be the situations, right? So we need to make sure everything is correct, working as expected. And you also need to make sure device serial numbers are appropriate with the correct format and then secret key as well. So these are the two primary requirements which should be valid and appropriate to be able to match with it, right? So that way it is going to be allowed and uploaded and working as expected, right? So that is how it is going to be. So yep, that is what I wanted to show you and talk about it. And I know this is going to be pretty straightforward and short video, but still very helpful to know and learn and understand from the point where how we can simply go ahead and bind uh, secret keys along with OAuth and OAuth tokens for software as well as hardware, right? And provide the respective users access on it, right? So yeah, that's all for this video I want to talk and show you. Uh, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, people and around people with you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, right? So that you get to see every new video whenever it is uploaded. So yeah, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching and bye for now.